Hello everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we're going to be doing something from the mechanical alphabet, which is a contra rotation pulley. So let's get into it. So here are all the bits. Here are the pulleys, we've got two large and we've got two small. The small ones have skater bearings in them and the large ones don't. So we put the large ones on an axle, like so. Then we would put a spot of glue to hold them in place. The small pulleys are also going to go on an axle, which is here. So let's slide them on. And as you can see, they are free to rotate in opposite directions, which is exactly what we want. So this is made from MDF. I cut this out using a hole saw, and the pulley groove I cut out using a lathe. But you could use a drill if you wanted to, um, but you need some sort of cutting tool. But MDF is so soft, just about anything would do. For example, this old screwdriver. Sharpen this end, <laughs> then you're off. <laughs> just bear in mind that it might ruin your screwdriver. Right, let's put this together. Here is my belt material, and it is a leather boot lace. I got the size by wrapping it around the pulleys, marking it, and cutting it two to three millimeters shorter than the size measured. So what we have to do is put a spot of super glue on it. So once your spot of super glue is dried, what you want to do is drill two one millimeter holes here and here. You want to put four to five stitches and you want to whip it to finish. And then you want to put a spot of super glue on the knot. And that is what it will look like. And that's the completed fit, uh, belt material. So that's the belt material completed. And there's a really easy way to attach these to the pulleys, which I'm going to show you. All you want to do is put it around the bottom notch, like so, bring it around the top, get a little bit of the belt material on the top pulley, hold it with your thumb, and then just rotate it round. And there you go, it's on. So we're going to attach this one the same way, but there's one little difference, and that is we're going to put a twist in it like this. So again, wrap it around the bottom, put your twist in it, bring it round to the top, grab a corner, and then use your thumb to push it round. Oh, wait a sec. There we go. And it's as easy as that. So I'm going to put this together and then I'll be back in a second. Right, so I finished putting this all together and I slapped a whole load of tongue oil over this MDF. And as you can see, it's giving it such a lovely dark colour, something that I can actually be proud of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the camera closer, demonstrate this working, and then we, then we can talk about it afterwards. So I'll see you guys in a second. Here's what it looks like up close, and there's one thing to mention, and that is I've put two little black spots on the top pulleys, and the reason for that is so we can see which direction they're rotating. So, let's give it a go. I'm going to do it slowly so you can see it, and then I'm going to start speeding up, and I'm going to keep moving it so you can see. Wow! That is, that's so, that is so cool. Let's get a different angle on that. Wow. <laughs> awesome. And let's have a look right here. Awesome. Wow, wasn't that awesome? <laughs> I really, really love the way that this just works. It is so cool. But there's a couple things to mention, and one of which being is that this is the same mechanism used in Rob's Windhurst machine, and that was a really cool video, but I've just broke this down to the bare mechanic. There's also something else to mention, actually, and it's quite mind-boggling to me, um, but this is the sort of mechanism that's used in a helicopter. You know, how one set of blades spins that way, and the other set of blades spin the other way. And it is just crazy! So this was a really fun build, and I'm definitely going to be doing some more stuff on the mechanical alphabet in the future, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, because I know that I did. But if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments, and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you later.